I'm finally getting to another video. Um, in my last video, I told you about the little doll that I customized that I thought was a Petite Blythe and then realized was actually a mini pull-up doll. Um, so part of the reason why I was customizing that doll is because I was wanting to make eye chips available in the sizes for Petite Blythe. Um, so it turns out the mini pull-up doll takes size six millimeter which I actually had here on hand and was able to um, make eyes for the, the little mini pull-up. However, a great friend of mine sent me a Petite Blythe head and eye mechanism. And what I discovered was that the Petite Blythe, here's the little mechanism, actually has five millimeter eyes. So, Sometimes what I do is just trim the, the resin down, but with eyes this tiny, it's really, really hard to do. So I have now ordered the size five millimeter for the Petite Blythes, um, but it hasn't arrived yet. But in the meantime, I did order another mini pull-up and a Petite Blythe um, for myself, and they arrived, so I thought we'd open them. Came in these shiny bags. Um, I ordered these from AliExpress, so they are fake um, ones. I don't know if fake is quite the same for these little ones as the large ones, um, but they did come from AliExpress, just so you know, and I can put a link below to the shop I ordered from. Um, and I thought we'd open them together because they looked so pretty in their little bags. And then I'm gonna see about taking apart the little Petite Blythe, and we'll see how that goes. Um, and so like I said, as of right now, I only have supplies to make eyes for the mini pull-up, but I'm not gonna add them to my shop yet until I figure out the petite because I have to go through every listing and update the sizes, so I wanna do both at the same time. So here's the little petite, and her hair is really, really soft. And so I guess her mechanism is the type of doll that um, when they're laying down, the eyes are closed, and when they stand up, they're open. So close. Her hair is kind of getting in the way. But she's super cute. So that's that one. Let's open. And I realized, um, I don't know if I just wasn't paying attention when I ordered, um, or if it's just I like these in this hair color, but I ended up ordering a mini pull-up basically with the same hair color as the one I just completed. Um, let me see if I have her in here. Well, I guess it's slightly different, but it's kind of the same, kind of the same um, as the, the second color I did because this is a two-tone, so underneath is like this turquoise color, which is really similar. So I must just really like this color on these dolls, but I thought she was really, really pretty with this hair. And so she has some plastic on her head. Let's take that off. And the mini pull-up is the same as the other one I did. So the eyes don't do anything. They're just stationary. Um, but she's super cute too. So I got these two. Let's um, let's check out the... One thing I wanted to say is you will notice that the heads are quite different in size. So uh, the little Blythe is smaller than the mini pull-up, which is crazy to me because it was already very difficult to do such a tiny doll when I, when I customized this one that I can't even imagine doing this one, but we're gonna do it. So let's look at her back and see if we can take her apart. So she has one little screw and I'm not sure Looks like my screwdriver will fit in there, so let's see if we can get it out. Okay, and let's squeeze our head just like we would on a normal uh, full-size pull-up doll and see, and she pops right off. So let's take a look at this little body. So she does have a little painted underwear, which I'll probably leave. The mini pull-up I didn't get to show you on the other one before I customize it, but they come with this like bodysuit, which I don't really like as much because it's 
kind of an ugly color and like for example the dress that I put on the one I customized this yellow would have shown so I did remove that but as far as for this one I'll probably just leave it because it can make a bigger mess trying to remove it and it, it's very subtle so the eye mechanism has fallen out so let's see let's look at the back of the head here so it was in basically like that. So it doesn't look like it's secured in any way. There's no screw. Um, so it just kind of falls out and her scalp has come off. So here are all the pieces. Very easy to take apart, not a problem. Um, the only thing I'm not sure about is how to get the eyes out of there. So I'm gonna um, take off these eyelashes and see if if there's any way for me to poke those the eyelashes on that side came off very easily. Let's see if we can get these ones out. Let me grab my tweezers. This side seems to be a little more stuck than the other side, but they're coming out without any need to soak, which is nice. So one big difference um, between the Petite Blythe and the Pull Up is the Petite does have eyelids, which I really like, um, and a space for eyelashes. So I didn't actually put eyelashes on the one I customized. Let's look at her. Because I just decided that I liked her the way she was, but if you want, you can get kind of an idea of the before and after here. So quite a difference. Um, and as I said, no eyelashes on the customized one. But I'll probably try to do eyelashes on this little petite. So now there's a little um, hole in there where, you, where the eyelashes were, and I'm wondering if I could just pop out those eyes because if you notice on the back so on the back of the the pull up you're able to just poke and the eyes pop out but that is not the case on these so I'm thinking they have to come out the front and I just stuck a, a long needle in there and it looks like they've already popped out so there they go and I did sort of disrupt the paint there but that shouldn't really be a big deal because I'm gonna remove it anyway So the little tiny eyes are out. So as I said, I don't have the supplies yet. I'm probably going to mess around with the six millimeter and see if I can trim some of them to fit for now. But otherwise I've ordered five millimeter size and we'll see how they work with these teeny tiny ones. It's very um, difficult to make because you, I have to print them out and then cut them and it's hard to cut them this tiny. But I'm going to do my best because I know a lot of people are waiting for um, a couple more options of sellers selling uh, petite eyes. So they should be coming soon. Please check back and as always watch me, uh, follow me on Facebook because I always announce everything there when I, when I um, have something new. So when these eyes come in, I will be putting it on Facebook. So as always also subscribe to my channel um, because if anything news comes up, I will be making a video about it and posting it here. I probably will make a video about um, these eyes when I get them. So check back, please subscribe, and as always, thank you so much for watching.